I've been flipping pages since I could remember That told me I had to be within the lines of two degrees and nine to five And I've been working after work since last September working after work, yeah. I stay up late on the weekdays on the week I days. never tell when we say Hey, it is so good to see you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Richard and I'm an entrepreneur based out here in Toronto, currently quarantined in my condo. And I wanna make you a video today explaining exactly how to deal with uncertainty. Because in light of the current circumstance with the virus going around and impacting so many people in a negative way, I know there's a lot of anxiety, fear, and uncertainty going around. And so today I have three high performance lessons for you and I really do hope by the end of this video, you can take action on these because I promise you, they will help. And I'm gonna be giving a little more details on the high performance training program, which I've been mentioning. All right, so lesson number one is really simple. Look, with any kind of situation, there's always going to be a problem. Whether it's this virus or whether it's a relationship problem with a friend or family member or a spouse, or whether it's something going on with their health or in our work, there are always going to be problems in life. There's nothing new there. The reality is it's just how we own the situation, right? Because here's the thing, when problems come our way, most people start to tell themselves, I can't do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I want you to completely flip and reframe that and ask yourself, how can I do this instead? How can I get creative, resourceful, find some kind of way to still get the task done? Because when doing so, you're taking ownership of the situation rather than surrendering it and telling that that responsibility is on someone else. And to give you an example of this, so my faith is the most important part of my life and over the past couple weeks, I couldn't go to church because in Toronto, the city has prevented large gathering groups of people. And so our church actually got really creative and our pastor of C3 Toronto is live streaming online six messages every single Sunday. And our church comes together to watch this message online and there's even a chat box where we can communicate with each other live. And then on top of that, afterwards, my Bible study, an awesome group of five, six guys, we come together on a video call and we debrief on the message and we meet over video in the same way that we would meet in person. And so the reality is it's not the fact that we can't come together that's preventing us from giving glory to God. We're still coming together because we got resourceful and figured out a way. So whatever the issue, whatever it is that you're dealing with right now, whether it's in school, your health and fitness or your job, find a way because there's always a solution. So remember, there's absolutely nothing that we can do about the circumstance, but there's absolutely everything that we can do with how we respond to it. All right, so I have two more high performance lessons for you, but right now I gotta get back to work. It's a very busy day and I'll talk to you very soon. Hey, good morning, Vince. How's your weekend? Yeah, this is very good. You? Yeah, it was good. Yesterday was very restful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost there. Yeah. Then we'll be able to um, simply uh, operate it and fulfill the sales program. I know. Um, I, I know we've never met in person before, so um, I'm Richard. Nice to meet you, man. I'm uh, nice I'm Vince's right hand, and I'm I'm actually his chief of operations. Never got no regret. The hours I've been putting in. Hey Chris, I want to congratulate you for, for being the newest member for our coaching program, man. We're super, super stoked to have you on. Just trust the process, execute like crazy, take massive action, and you'll get there no problem. <sighs> All right, so I just closed an $1,100 a month deal, and this is for my mentor, Vince Domani's company, and he sells business coaching. And the service that we have in this company is teaching personal trainers on how to start successful online fitness businesses. And I've started to realize the power of understanding how to sell, and not selling like a sleazy salesperson, but actually selling with the heart to serve. Our product and service can actually change someone's life. But here's the reality. You cannot help that person unless you sell them, because selling them, having them actually pay money is what's ultimately gonna hold that person accountable to taking action. If we gave this person free information, they would completely take it for granted. Just like if you ever read a book or you ever watch a free YouTube video, the likelihood of you actually taking action on that is significantly lower. But when you pay for something, you pay attention. And so I'm so grateful because I know this guy is gonna get so much good value and he's gonna see so much progress in his business because of our coaching program. And I know that gaining the skill of how to sell high ticket products is going to allow me to create successful businesses moving forward. So I'm just gonna keep refining the skill 
And I got a couple more sales calls to take today. I've closed two deals today already, and I gotta get back to work, but I got two high performance lessons for you right after this, so stay tuned. All right, so just finished up a really, really awesome work day here in my condo, and I wanna share with you the second high performance lesson of how to deal with uncertainty, and it's this. Action relieves anxiety. That is so important, please write that down. Because here's the thing, whenever you're anxious, that means you're simply thinking and stressing out over something. That means if you have time to scroll Instagram, look over the news, read the paper, and you're getting consumed with all of this information that is bombarding your head, that's what's giving you anxiety. And so the way you overcome that is you have to actually start taking action. Because here's the reality. If you have time to watch the news and stress over things, if you have time to waste on social media, consuming media, if you have time texting and calling people, then you have time to work on becoming the best that you can be. And I wanna give you an example. You know who Sir Isaac Newton is? One of the greatest scientists of all time. Sir Isaac Newton, when he was in university, as a young 20 year old kid, he actually got quarantined when he was in school because of the Great Plague of London of the 1600s. Over 25% of the city of London died over the course of one year. Sounds pretty dang harsh, right? Worse than how we have it right now. And here's the thing. That year that Sir Isaac Newton was quarantined back home was one of the greatest years of his life. He, when quarantined back home, started to develop early calculus, early optics theories, and also, you know that story about the tree and the apple falling on his head? Though that may not be 100% true, people say that that actually happened the year that he was quarantined. And so the reality is, see this as an opportunity where you can be productive, where you can learn something, where you can be the best that you can be, and you don't need to stress because the thing is, when you take action, that's going to relieve your anxiety. So go work on that thing that you've always wanted to work on. Go learn something new. Go take action on your classes, on your fitness. There's so many different things that you can do. I'm actually gonna grab an in-home workout right now, and I'll see you in a little bit for the third high-performance lesson. So I just had an amazing, amazing chest, tricep, and shoulder workout. Absolutely crushed it. And right now, I want to do the one-minute shot clock. And this is where I take one of your questions that you drop in the comments down below. And if you want me to pick your question, all you need to do is comment high-performance question and drop that comment down below with your question. And this week, the question is from Micah Huang. And this is the question. How do you remain driven and hungry during times of immense change and adversity? In the light of recent COVID-19 events, I've been feeling lost with this one. Well, Micah, I'm 100% with you on this. When COVID-19 starts spreading around, I was feeling a lot of anxiety myself. And this is how I overcame this. I'm actually gonna explain this with high performance lesson number three, and it goes like this. The opposition is the opportunity. You see, right now with being quarantined at home, we have been given one of the greatest blessings and opportunities in our lives. And here are the two options that we can take at this fork. At one option, and this was my older self a few years back, I would have binge watched Netflix, I would have started watching porn again, I would have started binge eating, being super unproductive and not taking my classes and work seriously. Or you could take another fork in the road, which is to be the absolute best that you can possibly be, read personal development books, get started in your business, go 110% in your online course learning, and do all the possible things to be the best version. Now, I wanna share something with you. I know many of you know that I am a man of faith. My relationship with God is the most important part of my life, and this is what James chapter one says, verse two. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, when you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. My friends, consider it pure joy. It is a blessing when you are facing different kinds of difficulty. Remember, the blessing is always found in the burden, and right now, you have been given such a privilege and opportunity to be able to take action and become the best version of you. And I wanna give you an opportunity to do exactly that. You see, this past Saturday on March 21st, I held the masterclass on how to double your productivity and also meet your dream mentors. And we maxed out at 500 attendees in literally two minutes. Now, I know many of you weren't able to attend this masterclass, 
It was 100% free and super, super valuable. And so this is what I wanna do for you, okay? I'm gonna be opening up 1,000 seats on this week's Saturday Masterclass, which is March 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's gonna be the same exact one as last week's, and all you need to register is click the first link in the description down below. And yes, if you registered for last week's, you're gonna to need to register for this one again. Like I said, there's gonna be a thousand seats on this one, so you're gonna get lots and lots of value, but you need to go register right away. And once again, you're gonna learn exactly how to double your productivity while working less time, and also how to become a networking master, all right? If you attend this masterclass and you really do put in the work, your life is going to change during this time that we're all stuck at home, all right? Use it to the best of your ability, and I'm doing this because I wanna serve you and I wanna see you win, all right? And like I always say, this video was 100% free for you. I put hours into filming, planning, and editing these videos because I wanna serve you, I wanna see you win, all right? So the price you pay for watching this video is to take a screenshot, tag me on Instagram, upload it to your story, share it with a friend, text a link to someone, because that's the only way that this channel grows, all right? We're so close to getting to 100K, and I can only get there if we get there together, all right? So until next time, I'll see you on Saturday's Masterclass. Stay sharp, stay focused, and go crush it.